How's the gaming? I'm filling the blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2. We are at sub-level 7 of the Dream Den. Yellow! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Okay, we got some blowhogs, and it looks like some ginger bugs. Let's go over here. There's no blowhogs. There are <laughs> so many flying enemies in this one. Holy crap. Okay, well, you grabbed me. That's fine. One of you's dead, though. Nope, almost. Come on. There, one's dead. Okay, cool. This is a rather small uh, level. There's just these two rooms, I believe. So pretty much take out everything one at a time as you can. The only thing dangerous is the dirigibugs, bugs. Uh, and they're made dangerous because of all the extra things. Are there really three dirigibugs bugs over there? Let's break this. That way I can bail at any point. I really don't want to leave the dungeon uh, without getting all the treasures. But if I have to, I damn it. Oh, we grabbed both. Oh, that's not good. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, look at the little president. He's wiggling. So cute. There we go. Okay, cool. Thankfully, they weren't in a fight or anything. That's why you really want to take care of these guys first, just because they make fights. Like, Blowhogs make fights dangerous. Obviously, they do. But these guys taking away complete control from you is super dangerous. All right, well, let's... I don't think we have a choice here. Yeah, damn. Oh, we didn't get all of them, though. Ooh, that could have been really bad. Okay, everyone. Back away. Nope, we're getting some kills. Uh, did anyone die there? No, no one died. Oh, I just killed two yellow pitmans myself, though, so that's pretty good. All right, kill them both. Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I cannot believe it. Okay. This is going decent, all things considered. Take them both out. Yes, hit one. And so close. Ah, there's another dead. That's okay. There we go. And neither of them had the treasure. Damn, I was not paying attention to my radar. I guess I didn't really have to do this. Well, we're here. I'll just take this guy out. That way he doesn't follow us. Okay, there we go. That sucked. That's fine. Take out the blowhogs here. There's another dir two dirigibugs bugs over there in the corner. But for the most part, like, you see they won't come... Oh, no, that... Oh, never mind. They won't come after you. Um, you kind of got to get decently close. And sometimes they will wander over to you, but... Oh, crap. Mm, everyone avoid the blow. No, we did not. That's all our flowers. Almost all our flowers. A lot of our flowers are gone. Damn. That might... Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised I haven't aggroed that one dirigibug. bug. Now, do you have the item? Because that means we can leave. Oh, that's awesome. So in other words, we could have just stuck around here and just gotten this one thing. Because I don't think any of the dirigibugs bugs have anything. That looks really neat. What is that? Oh, I think we've seen something very similar to this already, didn't we? Very cool. Essence of desire. Ooh. That was it. Perfect. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mind you, there would have been some dirigibugs bugs around here, so I guess it was good that we took them out regardless. What are we on now? Sub-level eight. Okay, cool. Neat. Halfway there now. Oh, this one. Tons of dweevils. Tons of dweevils. This one's very frustrating. There's two treasures, one of which is huge. There are a bunch of dweevils, which is fine. My purples can take care of the dweevils, but there are a ton of um, traps. The fire ones are fine for everyone. It's the electricity and the poison ones, because they are either insanely deadly or constant. So, basically just got to take your two teams and just go and make a path. Because even when you find the treasures, you never know what path your Pikmin are going to take back to the ship. And you don't want to not pay attention. All of a sudden, they just walk right into a bunch of electricity. Just make sure you know which Pikmin you're throwing. I don't know why two reds randomly joined us there, but okay. No white one joined our purple troop. I, I don't get it. I really hope, again, that they, they fix that up in Pikmin 3. I'm pretty sure they do. But, I mean, they're they're following their code. They're do they probably did something like they grabbed like, one of the corpses, and then they didn't have anything to do, so their immediate, like, behavior is probably to immediately go to where Olimar is. Yeah, you don't really have to fear the lightning dweevils when you have, uh, purples. Uh... Nope! Oh, that was close. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, the, the dweevils are easy with, 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 um, uh, with purples, because you stun them so long, but they don't have a lot of life. So they don't have a chance to do their lightning attack, so. Come on, man. Don't run away. And I mean, if a Dweevil's in the way, take him out, because you don't want them to grab uh, one of your treasures. 
out of nowhere. It just is annoying more than it is deadly. Okay, there's our first... Oh, there's already a Dweevil under it. Get our white. I do not have a lot of whites left, jeez. Or I might, I might not have grabbed them all, to be honest. Okay, and... Take you guys out. Come on. Oh, it's so hard for them to climb up those hills. Will this work like this? Oh, it does. I wouldn't... I didn't think... I was because he was carrying something. I wasn't sure if that would work. All right, cool. Don't need to get it really right now. I do want to clear a path first. Because both um, items are usually at the top in little nooks like that. Crap. Um, whites it is. Everyone, let's re regroup our groups. There we go. Okay. I mean, they can't die. They're white Pikmin, so... Um, one thing I wish they would have done, like, I mean, I'm using a dual analog control scheme, which the original Pikmin did not have. But it'd be cool if you could press, like, one of the shoulder buttons and then use the right analog stick as a, as a wheel to, like, manually select, like, all right, all reds or all yellows, and then it would disband everything else, if that makes any sense. It's the only thing I can think of to make this a little bit smoother to pick specific Pikmin. There we go. So, now grab this. Who had a 30? Jeez, okay. Uh, I just want to see if, the, if they turn right into that lightning, then we have a problem. But if they actually go the path that I created already, then this might work out. So let's get you guys grabbing this stuff. Okay. And where are you guys going to go? You're going to the left or you're going straight? Oh, nice. So there we go. We are pretty good. There might be a Dweevil in the way that, like, grabs something, but I'm pretty sure for the most part they stay away. Oh, there's one of those siren guys, too. You'll notice my radar going. There are two treasures on this floor. I don't care about the alarm beetle guy. Uh, if you really want to, you can. He's right over there. He's being a jerk. But I don't care. He'll just run away. This is, that's the hole right there. Okay, cool. Wait it out. Yeah, that sound is so weird, too. No wonder it confuses the Pikmin. Oh, well, there's the what is whatever this thing is, some sort of tchotchke. <laughs> Freaking jack o' lantern! That's a great, great smile. That thing's terrifying, though. What is you? <laughs> it looks so funky. Extreme perspirator? Perspirator? Sure, okay. I have no idea what it is. This thing I know. It's a jack o' lantern. That stuff I know. <laughs> Let's wait it out here. Yeah. If you want to, it just takes a while to take care of everything, but clearly it's not difficult to do so. All of those 37 pink men are trying to follow me, apparently. Doot, 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 doot. Oh, how that fits in there, I'll never know, but okay. Possessed squash. That's probably why um, all those golden pick picks or whatever, pick pick carrots that Louie had that caused this whole mess it could fit in that tiny spaceship. They just kind of shrink them down or something. I mean, they are intergalactic freight people, so they might be transporting an entire planet supply of picnic carrots. Oh, here's our only rest level in the uh, in this entire cave. There are uh, beetles, like there's a there's a doodle bug, and there's um, one of the golden glinty guys. Uh, so it, it's a way to get my flower power back up. And it, ooh, that's a regular one. Okay, so I can get. Um, regular nectar from these guys. Uh, the doodle bug and the golden bug uh, can give you bitter spray and, um, uh, and spicy spray. Nice. Uh, but they only last for a couple minutes. The, the, after a while, he'll dig back down. He'll disappear. Uh, they can also give you regular nectar, but they can give you the other sprays too. So it, it might be worth kind of hunting for them, but I might as well just bring my whites because everyone else is weak against the, the poison farts of the doodle bugs. Just means I have to be a little bit more accurate with my uh, throwing, because it does need to land on the bugs. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There's the doodle bug. There we go. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, that's great. Three of them. Jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to escape yet. Not yet. I mean, if I did, it wouldn't have been a big deal, because, you know, there's no treasure, and we didn't miss anything. But if I can hit you and get... There we go. A bitter spray. Thank you. All right, that's good. That might help the next uh, 
the next floor go well, because the next floor is my least favorite floor in the game. Which is the water... We've seen the layout before. This time it's very brutal. Very, very brutal. This is one of those, if you're not trying to beat the entire level of one go, bring a lot of blue Pikmin's. Alright, our only safe area is over here, and we have... Oh, okay, well, the jellyfish I can take care of here. The big deal is that there is a, um, I'm missing, is there's a, one of those Gatling guys, um, that has the treasure, I believe. Uh, so we do need to take him out, and of course he's one of the hardest things in the game to defeat. Uh, I, there he is, he's over there, okay. So I need to get all my Pikmin over here, because it's the only safe kind of place I can get my Pikmin. That's not close to water, but that sucks, because that's two blo uh, fire blowhogs and a Wally Wog. So we're just gonna, hopefully, okay, you kept going, that sucks. Oh, there's a dump bowl, there's a dump bowl as well. Oh god, fire, fire everywhere. I'm losing at least a couple. I lost one, lost two. Okay, yeah, you can come over here. We'll just, we'll just swarm you. Old school Pikmin 1 tactics. Oh no! Okay, got a few. Oh, two yellows. These guys are not a problem. Come here. Okay, the Dumple's dead. That's good. There we go. You as well. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, crap. He's followed us. Can I get him to come here on solid ground? Please? No, don't run away. Eh, eh. To be honest, if I, if I want to just waste a bunch of time, I could just sit here and just do this. It might not even be the worst idea, but... Get some blues. Come here, come here. Lure him onto the off the water. So all my pickles can attack him, not just blue. Come here. You're so close, buddy. Come attack me. I'm just sitting here minding my own business. I yearn to be exploded. Come here. Crap, I'm too close. He's just shooting. Waddle, waddle over me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep waddling. No, 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 no! Damn you. Alright, I'm gonna punch in the butt. Oh, there's a dumple here, too. I didn't even notice you. I thought you were a corpse for some reason. Oh, well, I don't care. There's two dumples. Yay! Hate this level. But, thankfully, it's just these two dumples and this guy, and I can punch them pretty well, so I don't have to really waste my Pikmin. It's slow, but it's safe, man. Go. That, that helped me out. If I can just get up a little down, that way it's not too difficult to attack him with my blue Pikmin. Getting like halfway or something. Come here. Jeez, they have a lot of HP. It's nuts. I mean, don't get me wrong, your Pikmin can drain HP really quickly when you have an entire swarm on it. Like, I have like, what? 12 blue Pikmin left. So I can't really do a whole lot with them. So now I can get them. Come here, blue. Try to get a few of you. There we go. 16, okay. You get closing, of course. There we go. Thank goodness for bitter spray. Plus, we have an extra bitter spray, so that's not bad. That's the one I wanted to wait for. But even with using the bitter spray on them, it doesn't last long enough for just 16 blue Pikmin to take them out. Alright, now to find the exit. Oh, I didn't even notice. He didn't even have a... A friggin... A treasure. Damn it. Okay, so we have to keep exploring. Whatever. It, it's good to take him out anyways, because he's extremely dangerous. Yeah. No treasure. Let's explore. Okay, so... Nothing over here. Nothing buried, thankfully. Okay. Oh, another Wally Wog. Crap. Come here. And another jellyfish. Crap. I hate this so much. Okay, well, might as well. You came to me. Might as well take you out. And of course, the jellyfish is following. Crap, he's already killed one. It doesn't help, too, that whatever the treasure is, there's gonna need to be enough blue pigment to freaking carry it. Come 
long is that enough? Yes, he's dead. Okay. Okay, the jellyfish. He's got a, at least one of my Pikmin in there. Plus, he might be the one with the um the item. My radar is going nuts. So probably. Damn, I sh probably should just let them do what they're doing. Oh, and here comes the fire water. Go away. Go face this way. Face this way. Ignore. 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 Crap, I'm throwing them all over the place, damn it! Now they're, like, stuck on the other side there! Oh, this sucks, come down, come down. No, and there's Dumples. Jeez, Phil. Oh, wow, they're really... Like, he likes to really chase me. Okay, cool, is that enough? Wow, he actually might have a chance to... Yep, I think he just ingested one of my, uh... Yeah, he ingested one of my blues. That sucks. And there we go, the treasure. Uh, we got this one double in the way. Crap. Mm, damn, 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 damn. There we go. Okay, good. Everyone, come with me. I only have nine left. Oh, there's another one. I need 15. Oh, no. Wait, I don't think I took them all. Okay. I need five more. Yes, there's at least... There's two right there. One. Yes, okay, we have enough. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. I have exactly enough, I think. <sighs> that was really close. That was sucked. So, this treasure is actually really neat. Careful of this one damn fire log. This is the, um, this is one of the most famous Nintendo's... No, 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 come back, come back, come back. You know what? Let's take you out. It's one of the most, uh, uh, Jeez. Uh, famous and kind of like uh, known Nintendo um, Hanafudo decks. Hanafuda is is a card, a Japanese card game that was um, like a, just an old card game. And it, it's uh, what Nintendo started doing way back in 1885 when they were when they were created as a company. They used to make cards. Uh, and this is the I believe it's the Daitorio uh, deck, which has Napoleon on it. Because I guess Daitorio means president. I think I'm not sure. Uh, and for some reason, they had a whole Napoleon line or something like that. But this is one of their most premium um, Hanafudo-like card decks, and they actually still make them to this day. Uh, it's, it's just so neat. I would love to get one. I have no idea how much they cost. I'm assuming they're very expensive, because I highly doubt they make a lot of them. But I love that. That's a, a neat little extra little um, tidbit of information that they put within the game itself. I think that's neat. Like, Americans are like, ah, oh, cool. Here's a Napoleon block. But Japan, they're like, oh, what a cool idea. Like, a cool send-off to, like, Nintendo's products. I don't know. I like that stuff. Ooh, this looks like a very traditional-looking area. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Sub-level 11. We're getting there. Um, where are we at? We're 18 minutes. We're probably going to call it a, um, a day after this one, uh, which leaves uh, sub-level 12, 13, and 14. Uh, ooh, a bread bug. Okay. Uh, for for the next episode, which is fine. Um, sub levels 13, 14 might be long, but it really is the boss that's going to be um, lengthy. I think it'll be most of the next episode. So next episode might be very long, but it's going to be the last episode. Uh, we only have three sub levels left for goodness sake, and then an ending. And I don't think the endings uh, contain the credits this time around. They they included it with the whole um, where did Louis go uh, ending that we got before. But this time, I think it just gives you a little ending cinematic. You don't do the credits again. So I have to be careful here, because I need to destroy this, but I need to make sure this guy doesn't eat up anyone. Good. He has long reach, but it takes him a while to attack. There we go. Bury yourself back down to the ground. Just need to be careful, that's all. Okay. I'm not going to take you out like normal. Ooh, we got one, but didn't matter. Aha. Ooh, there's a lot of them in this one. Well, that's what perps are for, man. Oh, there's a treasure up there. Looks like a shogi tile. Is that shogi? It's not go. It's not, um, mahjong. I think that's shogi. Never played shogi. So one of the projects, I, I've mentioned this last year, I think. It's, it's going to be my next project after Smash Brothers, which is nearly done, by the way. Um, and, and, and that is to play through all the black box games. Uh, as, as quickies. Not all at once, not like a, a big run, just like, um, 
like every every week or so I do an episode where it's one of the black box games and those are fast episodes the black box games are not very long um, but then I decided I was like there is a Japanese equivalent of the black box uh, series of games and that is the I guess they call them the pulse line or something something like that um, lineup of games uh, and for the most part almost all of them are exactly the same as the North American black box games uh, but there are a couple of Japanese exclusive ones and I think like most of them are shogi I was like, maybe I'll play all of these, but then I saw it was Shogi, and it was like a Popeye English tutorial game. I'm like, I don't know if those will make good episodes. Also, I don't know how to play Shogi, or or really know how to play Mahjong, to be really honest. Uh, so I'll probably not do that, but I just thought that would have been neat. Oh, there's a ball bear up there, of course. Yep, you're going to grab someone. Yep. And they'll just stand there. They'll stand there while uh, that ball bear... Oh, come on down. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. And yeah, they'll just sit there, trying to lift the treasure, getting picked off one by one. It's pretty nuts. Look how many corpses there are here. Jeez. Yeah, I just thought that would have been... That would have thought, I thought that would have been a cool idea, but I don't think I'll go through with that part. So we'll just keep doing the, the black box idea. Um, which I'll be able to start pretty soon, actually. Which I'm, I'm looking forward to. Because Smash Brothers was my first, like, major big... Big project that would take a long time. It's been basically two years at this point. Uh, I don't know if we'll be done by now. I'd like to think I have another... I, I've, I've put up episode 22 by this point. Uh, I haven't recorded it yet, but I, I've, I'd like to think by, by episode 20... Friggin' what, 27 of Pikmin, we'll have done another Smash Brothers. And I think episode 23 will be the last one, I'm not sure. But... What are you, Boss Stone? Is that an important Shogi tile? Is it even a Shogi tile? Am I making that up? Is Shogi even a thing? Am I, am I just saying gibberish? I legit do not know. <laughs> And come back. Jeez, they're all... Look at all of them! Holy crap. And if it wasn't for the poison trap, this actually would be pretty easy. Oh, nice. I got... Ooh! Oh, I got really lucky with my bounces there. That's really good. And now we're clear. Now it's pretty easy. Purple's rule of the day. So many enemies. Like, they're so cramped in this level. Pop, 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 pop. You're dead. You missed Bulborb, and you are... Dead. And you are dead. <laughs> no, almost there. Oh no! I was, I was way too, way too soon. There we go. And you are dead. Oh, hot mustard. Oh, I love hot mustard. Push the day. What do you like about mustard? What's your opinion on mustard? Do you like mustard? I love mustard. Hot mustard, like the grain mustard. God, Dijon. So good, so good, guys. This is like this cranberry mustard, I think it is, that Kate likes every year. I've never tried that, really. That one sounds kind of gross, but I love mustard. I'm a mustard guy. I'm, a, I'm more a mustard guy than a ketchup guy. But don't tell Kate. She'll divorce me. <laughs> Kate is a ketchup gal. I'm a mustard guy. She's a ketchup gal. That's the new Billy Joel song. Or... What's another band? But that is it for today. I'm Phil Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.